Hi Composers, my name is Adrian and today I'm going to show you how to export all of your Chili Track stems in one single click. Two minutes and all of the stems are ready to export to the publisher. So that's very useful, especially at 3 a.m. when you are doing a custom track and you need to export the stems. You don't want to take 40 minutes of your night to export all of the stems. I've just also finished my first solo album and I had to export 12 tracks, which means at least 120 stems, which took me, I think, six hours. So I don't want to do that ever again. And so I came up with the system where everything is routed and in one single click, I have all my stems. By all my stems, I mean all of my individual sections with their reverb. For example, I have my string with the string reverb, my brass with the brass reverb. I have my full mix with everything. And on the full mix, I have the side chain, the, com the side chain compression from the hits already applied as well. And I have the full mix without the choir because sometimes publisher ask you for the full mix without the choir. I have that as well with the side chain uh, compression from the hits also. So one single click and I have all of the stems I need to send uh, to send to them. Um, it's very flexible and customizable. You can add it to your own template. You can uh, change the routings. You can put more stems, less stems. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just a mindset to have when you are composing and when you are routing your track to have in mind. You can, you can have it um, with no, uh, no instrument track and add them if it's, if it's that uh, your way of working or you can have it on a template with all of the tracks already in it. Um, if you want to have the exact same template I'm going to show you here and you want to save a bit of time, you can download it in the description uh, with a small donation. But if you want to make it and customize it, you can follow me here, all of my steps, um, and you will end up uh, with, uh, with this technique. I think it's going to work with any other DAW as well, because it's just a matter of routing the right tracks to the right stems. Um, but I don't think many of you know this technique or do it like I, uh, like I do. So I very hopefully will help you today and avoid you many hours of stemming in the future. Let's jump right into it. Here is the hierarchy of how the template is set up. So on the first level, you have all of your instrument tracks. These can be already loaded in your template or you can add them as you go if it's how you like working. Each track is routed to a group track. You need to have at least one group track per stem. So here is an example of the group track you'll need to create. So you have the piano, you have the synth pad, you have the synth arp, uh, the strings long, the strings short, the choirs, the brass, the woodwinds etc. Then you have your FX track. Usually that's going to be the reverb, so for the orchestra. Um, and once again, if you want this to be working, you need to have at least one FX track per stem. So for example, I have a reverb for the short strings, I have a reverb, reverb for the long strings, one for the brass, one for the woodwinds, etc. So I have, for every stem, I have the group track and the FX track. You can choose if it's the whole group track that is sending to the FX track or if it's just the individual instruments that are sending to the FX track. For example, I'd rather have all my short strings sending to the same um, at the same amount to the send reverb, whereas with my percussions, I want to be able to choose which percussion has reverb and how much. So perhaps I want to have a lot of reverb on my snare and to make them very splashy, but not too much on the taiko, taikos to avoid muddiness. So you have to choose wisely if it's the whole bus group or the individual tracks that are sending to the reverb. Then here's the main trick for it to work. You need to route each group track and each FX track to their respective stem track. This track uh, and the stem track is uh, it's, it's also a group track, but I'm calling here a stem track to not confuse everybody. So this track 
is what's going to be printed as an audio stem. So it cannot be sending to another FX track. This is the final destination before being printed as a WAV file. This track is only here to, to sum up the dry and the wet signal. So the, for example, all my short strings and the reverb of all my short strings are going to be printed in this, uh, in this track. If you do this for each stem, you are making it possible to export in one click all the individual sections. So that's, that's already great because you're saving a lot of time by doing that. But how can you have the full mix, the full mix without the choirs, with the sidechain compression from the hits only applied on the full mix at the same time on the same export as all the individual tracks. So for that you have, you're going to route all the stem tracks except the hits, the hit stems and the choir stems to one group track which is the full mix, no choirs, no hits. I'm saying group and not stem tracks here because this one is not going to be bounced as audio. It's just part of the routing process. On this stem track, you can add your sidechain compression from the hits. Maybe you don't use sidechain compression from the hits, but if you don't use sidechain compression, it's good, you can skip this part. But for me, I like to have on my full mix, uh, 8 dBs of sidechain compression on the low frequencies uh, from the hits. So 150 Hertz and below are being compressed each time the hits are there. It allows me to have a better quality of impact in the low end. It's much more punchy and clean and you avoid phasing issues with the sub or any low frequency instrument. Then this stem track and the hits are routed to another stem track, stem track with the, which is the full mix no choirs. And finally, this is also routed to a final full mix along with the stem choir, the choirs stem to have everything. Let's see an example here. I have created, I create a violin one legato track, routed to the string group and the string group is sending to the string reverb. Then, the string group and the string reverb are routed to the string stem. Then I'm routing it on the full mix, no choirs, no hits for my sidechain compression to be applied. Then I'm sending it to my full mix, no choirs to have the full mix, no choir um, in my stemming process and then to the full mix. Now we need to export all the stems. So click on file, export. And now you have this window. You have to click on multiple, type here stem, and you can select all the stem that you've used. So you don't always use all them. So you can uncheck what you are not using. And then name of the file here is, I, is my name and then stem demo and then nothing. If you click here, I'm having the name here. So name of the track, uh, the name of the, the the project, sorry, it's so it's this one. And then the name of the, the channel, name of the channel is this. So the naming is correct. So if you can see here, Adrian stem demo piano stem and now if I click here on export stem, as you can see here, all the stems are being printed. Printed. This is a huge time saver and I understand that it's not quick to make it, but once it's done, um, it's very, very useful. And if you don't want to take some time to create it, you can just download it and use it as it is here. That's it. I hope you learned something useful today. If you want to know more about mixing trailer music, I highly recommend trailer music mixing from, from Joel Dolier. There is a link in the description for that. I had some private lessons with him as well, and it was incredibly useful. He's super talented and he's going to help you so much on your mixing if you take a few lessons with him.
And if you want to save some time, you can just grab the template I'm using here. It's in the description down below. I hope you learned something cool today that you will save some time in the future. And see you next time. Bye-bye.